Hey YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I have a Halo Infinite optimization, FPS, and throughput latency guide for you guys. So if any of you guys are new and you like any kind of competitive advantage in games, lower throughput latency, higher frames, please subscribe and like. Help me out in the algorithm. I'm a kind of YouTuber that likes to test things and back up my claims. I actually covered what matters for frames and throughput latency. Guys, there's only so much you can do with your game. Most of it, guys, is how you set up your hardware correctly and also having good hardware, bias settings, setting up your windows correctly, overclocks if you're comfortable with doing that. All of that is covered here, guys. Can't stress enough, there's only so much you can do with game settings. It's a very small portion. I've covered everything in here that absolutely matters because I've tested everything. If any of you guys are uncomfortable overclocking anything or doing any of the extras, please at least follow the Windows 10 or Windows 11. I don't care which Windows you go on, just follow one of these. That'll cover 90% of what matters okay because you can only do so much with the game in saying that guys i have a config you guys can go ahead and download to save some time which will do the graphic settings for you guys already okay so there's a link down in the description just go ahead and download the halo zip file and put it to your desktop for now now i need to cover drivers okay had a lot of issues with my 6900 xt so if you're on amd there are a lot of issues this game they did release a special driver for halo infinite and it's not really an official release driver so you'll have to go and check that out if you're on AMD. I was getting about 150 frames um, in an offline scenario. And then when I uh, updated this driver, I was getting 400 frames. So that's kind of a big deal. I'm going to link this in the description. If you're on AMD, you can't just go download it off the normal web page. You kind of have to search it up and go ahead and download it. So I'll link that in the description there. As far as NVIDIA, guys, I recommend most of you being on the latest for now, especially if you are going to be playing Battlefield. But if you do have any issues, the golden driver is 472.12. So just go on the latest for now. If you don't have any issues, great. If you have any issues for some other games you're playing, just roll back to 472.12. Both drivers run fine for this game. What I want you guys to do is extract the Halo zip file, okay? And then it should be a folder here. What I want you guys to do is grab this config file. So there's two files. One takes you to the config location right and this is the actual config file i want you guys to use so i want you to control c for copy and then i want you to delete this one then control v for paste okay so then go ahead and launch your game and that should cover most of the graphics settings that'll be already set up for you guys okay in saying that let's go into the game and i'll cover uh what i would recommend and the graphic settings like i said most of them should be done for you guys already but let's go into settings accessibility a lot of stuff doesn't matter scroll down here and i'd recommend Turning off blur, screen shake, exposure, and full screen effects. I highly recommend turning those off, okay? UI, a lot of this is personal preference. You won't have to worry about those. Same with audio, all personal preference. None of it affects anything. Okay, now let's go to video. A tested field of view, changing field of view doesn't affect frames or throughput latency, so that's fine. Unfortunately, this game doesn't run in proper full screen. Um, not much you can do about that. Now, depending on what kind of card you have, if you have a medium to high-end card for my test, and I'm gonna show that at the end of the video, Feel free to crank some settings up. It's not going to affect your frames and latency that much, believe it or not, okay? If you have a medium to low end graphics card, you'll probably just want to run this config. May even want to run a lower resolution because what you want to do is you want to get your GPU usage down if you have a really low end card. So you can do that by just bumping down the resolution slider. That's almost uh, rendering in 720p, okay? What I found in my test, which was really interesting, um, on my 2080 Ti and my streaming PC that I tested it on, um, in this sort of config, I was getting uh, about 280 FPS, okay? Um, and in my on my AMD 6900 XT, I was getting 400 FPS. But doing actual tests, I found that this game engine's a little bit weird. Um, anything over 300 FPS either doesn't matter or the game engine bugs out and you don't really want to be over 300 FPS. It seemed to bug out. So if you have an insane rig, guys, I'd recommend capping at 300, around 300 FPS max because there are really no benefits on running... Um, stupidly higher frames in this game it's just the way the game engine is and there's not much i can do about it that's just how it is so like i said guys if you're on a uh, medium to low end uh, card you might want to run this config and consider bumping down your resolution even consider capping your frame rate to something stable now usually i would say uncapped is all the way and max frames is all the way but what i found on this game engine is like generally over about 280 300 fps things started to go south um, the game engine kind of bugged out a little bit and um, I really feel like unfortunately some game engines are like that so that would be my recommendation um, if you have a high-end rig probably just like cap at 300 
or something like that or if you know if you've got a 240 hertz monitor and you want to use g-sync just cap at 237 etc etc so in saying that as far as maximum frame rate guys i'd probably recommend like i said you've got a high-end rig just go custom and just go 300 for my test so it was really really frustrating to test this game i'm going to be honest with you guys because usually with other games they're a lot easier to test this game was a little bit all over the place but you'll see the results real soon scrolling down here just got everything in low for you guys in the config that would be a starting point now it's going to depend on what kind of hardware you have what you see on my rig um you know obviously will scale differently to yours but they'll scale similarly cranking up a lot of these settings on a medium to high end graphics card are not going to affect that much okay but my recommendations for you guys would be cranking up the sharpening a little bit okay you'd want all of these off and i would really recommend just for visibility i would really recommend cranking up your texture filtering the ultra okay and texture quality something like medium or high so here you go with your frames at the end of the day you want to keep gpu usage down okay and frames high so i'm sorry i'm not going too much in depth with each individual setting and what to change because this uh game was very very uh frustrating to actually test and i'll show you the results right now you guys are curious uh this is my test rig so it's my intel nvidia system it's more a conservative system like it's good hardware don't get me wrong but i haven't overclocked anything crazy because it's my streaming pc so it's just water cooler 10 on 100k locked at turbo boost a standard single rank memory kit um 2080 ti right with the latest driver okay minimum driver no geforce experience and, and full screen optimizations on okay um you can't disable full screen optimizations with this game anyway it's directx 12. i've just locked the gpu core and i'm um, cranked up the power limit and i'm using the same monitor for these tests and this is my amd amd system so this is my all out rig my gaming rig 5950x with a nice pbo overclock with a water cooler dual channel dual rank memory 3800 um two times 16 and with all custom sub timings and my b6900 xt which is overclocked and locked core as you can see and i'm on that special driver that i was telling you guys about so let's look at the results now as you can see um i really tried hard to find the best way to actually test this game and it was incredibly frustrating to test um just because it was um, really really variable and i tried a whole bunch of different guns in doing it i tried U ui to get it get a reading on the tool but this is sort of like our best case results this is on my amd system uh 6900 xt um and as you can see the frames are quite good now without msi afterburn i do get about an extra 20 fps but that's the kind of best case scenario latency that you're going to be looking at on a really really good rig obviously a little bit be a little bit higher in multiplayer matches just because of the inconsistencies and how many times i had to redo these tests i can't give you guys actual proper results like my other videos so i'm sorry about that so here's where it gets kind of interesting um so you can see this is the 6900 xt by the way um the you know amd amd pc um so like basically this is uncapped and that's the kind of latency i was getting 23.36 on average okay and average frame at about 380 okay and I went to 1080p and I didn't see a huge difference. And usually that's about right because when you have a really good card, our GPU usage doesn't go up too much um, and it can just handle that resolution. So that's super nice. Then I went to 1440p and I did see the latency come up a little bit. And obviously, you know, the watts came up and the, the GPU usage came up a little bit as well. So that's about normal on how it would scale. But I thought it would scale a little bit more aggressively, but it didn't. And here's where I got a little bit confused because I went to 4K and i got really good latency results on 4k even though my gpu was almost pecked and i didn't understand and i ran the a lot of these tests over and over and over again i've been doing it all day and i didn't understand what was happening so then i thought hang on game engine maybe the game engine bugs out over a certain amount of frames and i think that's the conclusion that i actually came to as you can see um this is 1080p now low settings but i capped at 280 fps okay i capped at 280 fps as you can see the latency is like lower uh than completely uncapped at 720p so that tells me that the game engine is because after doing these tests that many times game engine is uh, buggy after a certain amount of frames so cap it to something stable it, it's okay it, you don't need crazy insane frames in this game because it's actually not going to make a difference for you guys um provided you have a medium to high end card right um so when you guys are changing some settings here and there and like don't be afraid to change some settings because i didn't see a huge difference as you'll see here soon um just go with what um it looks good and uh, try to keep your gpu usage down if you're on a medium to low end card just use the config that i did and, and do low resolution if you need to uh to just try to hold at least um, a decent amount of frames so i decided okay i'm going to cap at 200 fps 
because maybe I found the sweet spot and I think the sweet spot's around 300 FPS. So I kept it 200 FPS. Latency came up a little bit. That's fine. All right, that's to be expected. And then I decided to cap it 100 FPS and the latency came up just a tad, but not heaps either. So that tells me that this game engine is just, it is what it is at certain frames. I would say 300 max is the sweet spot. If you're getting around 200, you're fine. Okay. So um, in saying that, I was going to test each individual setting, but with the frustration of how um, buggy and how many times I had to redo the tests on this game, um, and seeing there's not a huge difference, uh, I just didn't do each individual setting like I have um, some of my other videos. And as you can see here, 6900 XT, capped at 280, but this time ultra, everything ultra settings, we're getting 23.6 um, millisecond latency. So that's not notable enough of a difference for me to go, hey, I want to test each individual setting for you guys and tell you what the best is because it just is what it is. That's the game engine. So maybe when they optimize it more, you'll see it scale a lot more later on. Um, but for now, this is the game that we have and a lot of stuff I'm doing does not make a difference. Okay, because this is on my streaming PC. Um, I've just got a photo here, so apologies about that. But just after testing it all day, I kind of had had enough. So this is um, my 2080 Ti, the streaming PC, um, all in low 720p. So I'm averaging around 280 FPS uh, standing here. Okay, and the latency was about 22.85. So uh, pretty much on par with the AMD system, which is good to see. I would like to say that because this PC isn't tuned as much that I would say this game seems to favor um, uh, video. Although I would only be able to confirm that with a 3090, to be honest, in this actual um, gaming PC here. So that was interesting. Now let's go over to, I did uh, 4K. I decided to do 4K just to see how it'd scale. Maybe for you guys out there that would, Play higher resolutions on um, not the latest card um, and that did affect my frames quite a lot I'm getting about a hundred average frames because my GPU is completely pegged at that point and the latency on that guys was about 35 milliseconds and saying that I decided to test 1080p ultra so sorry I didn't test each individual I didn't test you know 1080p low or anything like that so 1080p ultra I'm getting about 180 frames um, and the latency for that was 30, around about 30 milliseconds okay so you know if you have a medium to low end card um you know play around with the graphic settings to try to get the higher frames and your gpu usage down but you have your high end card honestly a lot of it doesn't really matter too much just i would cap the frames max 300 because what i saw with this game engine is just a little bit um a little bit buggy i wouldn't say buggy but i just don't think it matters it's just how the game engine is so guys, sorry the video was a little bit all over the place and um, I couldn't give you guys actual proper, proper test results with each individual setting because the game engine just is what it is. So in saying that, the biggest thing that's going to matter, like I said, is this optimization stuff here. Um, you know, you tuning the right graphic settings for you to get the, the most frames and the lowest GPU usage with the game still looking nice too um, because it's just so variable and so frustrating to test. You're going to have to figure that out on your own. But for you guys with the low-end systems, the config should help quite a lot. Just consider bumping down resolution if your GPU is pegged. Um, and also the drivers seem to matter quite a lot for um, AMD. So I didn't mention that. So guys, in saying that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry it was a little bit vague, but I can only do so much if the game engine is that way. Subscribe and like guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.